Welcome back, 623 here on Daybreak, and we are celebrating an Easter tradition in Western New York. Kevin, it is not Easter without a trip to the Broadway market. That is true, and we're going to play uh, Polish or not Polish. Uh, we'll ask, <laughs> ask my interviewee, is this girl in Love fact it. Polish? Hold on one second. Hi, Dominique ooh, from Krzyzyki. How are you? Nice to see you, Dami. Hi, nice okay, to see you. Okay, here's my, here's my weekend anchor. Buffalo's weekend sweetheart, Heather Lee. Okay. Is she half Polish or not half Polish? I would say she looks like a pierogi, so yeah, she, she must be Polish. That is absolutely correct. That is absolutely correct. I resemble correct. that remark. She is, in fact, half Polish. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, uh, are you Polish, in fact? I am 100%. Hey, how about that? I married a nice Polish girl, well, happy, and I've been happy ever since. It's the best kind. Absolutely. <laughs> um, what's this time of year like for you guys? This time of year is so amazing. It's exciting. It can be a little Get stressful, some, but okay. it's it's amazing. Uh, this is new for you guys. <laughs> yeah. So we actually rebranched, and we rebranded our pierogi. We've always made it through Krasiki Bakery. Yeah, yeah, that I knew. Yeah, so we started a second company called Simply Pierogi. That's outstanding. It's amazing. So we focus on really clean, fresh ingredients. There's no preservatives or any artificial ingredients in uh -huh. it, and it's a very authentic, traditional recipe. The blueberry and cheese, is that like a dessert or like a, like a breakfast? Do I have it with a cup of coffee or after a meal? Yeah, you can do either breakfast, you nice. can do dessert, you can do oh. even dinner if you're feeling sweet. Fry it up or boil it or boil it? Yeah, you or, boil it and oh. then fry it give it a little crisp. Uh, okay, what's and, and again, what is it about Krishiki you think that, that draws people here every year? I think it's all about tradition. You know, people mm -hmm. really pass down the tradition from generation to generation, mm -hmm. and they're bringing back new people, and they come back for some of, you know, like all the traditional European pastries. So you have your almond rings, your platic, Krishiki, mm -hmm. all the old recipes. So people always come back year after year for yeah, that. We should mention Krishiki is not only like the, the you know, the, all the other, you know, Stands are have last names, but Krishiki Bakery, that's not a last name. You're right. Not, you're not Dami Krishiki. <laughs> no, so many people come up to me and they're like, oh, I know Mr. Uh, Mrs. I know Krishiki. Anya Krishiki. Yeah, right? I'm like, me too, you know, <laughs> but really it's just the pastry. <laughs> that's like the angel wing type thing. Yeah, it's the angel bow ties. Oh, yep. my God. And so as you, when do you guys start preparing for Easter? Uh, we prepare, honestly, weeks in advance, even from, you know, ordering all the supplies and all the materials that we need, setting up the stands. We really revamped our stands this year. So you'll see our second and third stand. Mm -hmm. We really gave it a nice face. Lift. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you I can so go much. for one myself. <laughs> uh, by the hours of the Broadway market until 7, already open until 7 today, 6 to 7 on Good Friday, 6 to 5 on Saturday, off on Sunday to celebrate the resurrection, and then open on Dingus Day, noon to 6. Of course it's open on Dingus Day. That's the uh, the pre the pre-game for the party. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much, Kev. Kevin, thank you. Coming up next on Daybreak, how a new proposal in Erie County could prevent smart devices from recording.